Hi there. In this video, we're going to show you how you can filter out internal traffic from your staff, your offices in Google Analytics 4. So I'm in the admin area of the Google Analytics 4 property that I'm going to use for this demonstration. So you find this functionality in data streams. You select the data stream for which you want to exclude the traffic. In this instance, we only have one. You scroll down to where we've got this configure tag settings option and click on that. And here where we've got uh, settings, we select show all. And you can see about halfway down, we have this option define internal traffic. And if we click on that, it allows you to set some rules for how uh, you're going to define what counts as internal traffic. So you can give your rule a name and then it's literally just a question of um, using these different match types and putting in the uh, IP address. So if it's just one IP address for you, put in IP address equals, or you can use begins with, ends with, contains, in the range, and so on. And that's it. It's worth saying that this obviously will only work if you've got a fixed IP address. And there are other methods outside of Google Analytics that you could use that might be a more reliable way of um, excluding internal traffic. For example, if you're using Chrome, there's this extension that you can use that enables you to block yourself from the analytics of your own website. So if you always use Chrome, uh, this is probably a slightly more reliable way of doing it if you don't have fixed IP address from where you're always accessing the analytics. So that's it. That's how you find the functionality for uh, blocking internal site traffic from Google Analytics in GA4. If you found that useful, have a look at some of our other Google Analytics videos, upcoming training webinars and other advice that we give on our website. Thank you very much.